Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite fragrances, show you guys my kind of small perfume collection, and then do an unboxing, kind of pseudo late unboxing and review of some fragrances that Dossier sent my way in PR. So I know I haven't really spoken a lot about like perfume and fragrances on my channel, but fragrance has been a bigger part of my life ever since lockdown. Um, I've been working from home since March, 13th of 2020. It's going to be almost a year. I can't believe that. I've been working full time from home. And since lockdown started, I became obsessed with like candles and fragrance as a way to change like the sensory. Th 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 I don't know what I'm trying to say. Basically, the change a room without changing a room. You know, like when you're stuck in like the same two rooms every day for a whole year, being able to light different candles, wear different perfumes, body sprays freshens things up it changes it up you know variety is a spice of life right so fragrance may became a bigger part of my life ever since lockdown happened but even before then i loved body sprays perfumes but i never felt like i had like the influencer perfume collection like you know when they have like a bunch of full-size expensive perfumes i only have like two <laughs> and i never thought it would be interesting enough for a video but dossier reached out and sent me some pr and there is specifically a company that focuses on fragrance dupes which i had never heard about before i am a proponent of dupes whenever i talk about like dupe eyeshadow palettes i've talked about you know back when bad habit was a brand alter ego is another brand that focuses on dupes i see dupes as like a side effect of capitalism late stage capitalism but the way that i see it it really isn't too different than when you go grocery shopping and you see like the brand name craft mac and cheese and then like the store brand mac and cheese like it's gonna happen whenever you've got free capitalism right so i've always been like a proponent of finding cheaper alternatives i do this all the time with my putty primers with eyeshadow palettes but I'd never done it for fragrances, for perfumes. And I have said multiple times, like I would buy more perfumes, but they're so expensive. <laughs> so um, I'm really excited to review the dossier. I got two perfumes from them in PR and I cannot wait to talk about them along with the rest of my perfume collection. You know, I'm gonna stop criticizing myself. It is a collection. Okay, so let's start off first with my body sprays. Now I know body spray, has like this connotation of being like for teenagers and you know that being said I started using this when I was a teenager because <laughs> it was more affordable than regular perfume and it just smelled really good um so the first one that I've literally been using since I think I was 11 um this is from Bath and Body Works this is the Japanese cherry bro bro blossom <laughs> the Japanese cherry blossom body spray try saying that five times fast this is just such an iconic scent and I don't know what to say about it. Like it reminds me of just a life of those times I was like in front of a mirror blow drying my hair straight. The times where I would go out like my first date. Uh, like, like I don't know. It, it's just really nice. I love the scent and these bottles. They're a little pricey. I think full size. They're fifteen dollars. But I never buy these full price. I always get them on sale or with a coupon. And this lasts me months. Like actual months. Um, and recently I've actually been opening two or not opening two, but using two at a time. So they last even longer because I switch off between the two, but the Japanese cherry blossom has been my favorite and I stock up on these when they're on sale and I get, I literally am good for like a year <laughs> once I can get a couple of these on sale. Um, and I love the packaging too. Like the packaging is really cute. It's got the nice lid. It looks nice on display. I just, I can't get enough of these. Another body spray from Bath and Body Works that I also love. This is a recent new find. Um, just the rose scent. I love rose. I love floral scents. And this rose scent, it's just really nice, like pure rose. Like, it doesn't really get any better than that. Again, it's expensive. Buy it only on sale. Um, but again, really pretty packaging. Great smell. I love the body sprays. They're amazing. Next, we have my only solid perfume, and I purchased this because unfortunately, my favorite scent of lotion from Lush got discontinued, and I was afraid they were gonna get rid of everything, so I bought a solid perfume. This is the Karma Solid Perfume, and I just, I love the Karma Cream scent. Oh my god, I don't even know how to describe it. I think it's orange blossom and patchouli are the main notes, but it just smells incredible. I could have sit here all day. But I love this. I, they have the big bottles of the actual, like, uh, 
what should I say, liquid perfume for the Karma, but that is, that's like over $100 for the bottle of perfume. So I got myself just the little uh, solid perfume because it was a little bit cheaper <laughs> so I could at least keep the Karma scent around because I was, again, so disappointed that Lush discontinued that scent. Why? Why would you do this to me, <laughs> Lush? And yeah, they definitely did it specifically despite, despite me. That was obviously a joke for those that can't tell what a joke is. Thank you. All right, moving on. So these last two actual full-size products are my two, only two, I guess, actual like higher-end perfumes, and they're my two favorites. Um, so the first one is the My Burberry Blush. This is the blush scent. I adore, 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 adore this perfume. It smells like light baby powder that's floral, but it doesn't smell like grandma's perfume like you might think it's going to smell like. Oh my god, it smells like a, a slightly elevated like Chanel number. It smells like Chanel number five plus like roses and perf like roses and florals. I think that's why I love it so much because I used to love Chanel number five. I've never had a full size Chanel number five, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. But this is one of my favorite perfumes ever. I got... <laughs> so many sample size products of it like whenever i could go into a sephora and get a sample i would get a sample whenever i placed an online order and they had that as a sample option i would get it as a sample option and then finally for my birthday a couple years ago my grandmother actually got me a full size one for like my birthday and christmas combined i loved it i had to baby it though because i was so afraid of running out so i finally used up that full size one and last year after not having it for a bit i actually bought myself oh no i lied so here's the thing okay so i use up that full size product and then the next year for christmas uh sephora did you know those perfume samplers so they had a perfume sampler it's like 65 dollars, and you get a bunch of perfume samples but then you get a coupon where you can exchange it for a one ounce bottle of perfume for no extra price so if it's a perfume that you like that's normally a hundred dollars if you buy the kit for 65 and then use the coupon it's like 40 dollars ish off to get the same bottle of perfume so i did that because they had the my Burberry blush in there that year so i did that and i got the my Burberry blush and i babied that for a year <laughs> And then <laughs> I ran out of that one and I finally decided to buy myself an actual just one, one ounce because I, I love this so much. I don't know what it is, but I'd like to think that this is like my signature fragrance as like an adult, as like the adulting Monica would smell like this. I've worn this for all of my most important interviews in the last few years. I've worn this on our anniversary dates. I just, mm, I just, I love this so much. So this is one that has a special place in my heart and, um, uh, Dossier does not currently have a dupe for this, but I wish, I wish to hold, I wish so much that they did, because I would buy so many bottles of it. But for now, this is one of the only expensive perfumes that I will continue to purchase. Moving on, we have a newer fragrance that I got, it was either last year or the year before, as a gift from, again, my grandmother. She's just really good at finding out whatever perfume samples that you've liked for the year, and then saving it, and then getting it for you for your birthday or Christmas. This is from Tom Ford, and this is the Black Orchid scent. Well, first of all, the packaging. Stunning. I love that packaging. This is something that I got like two sample bottles of and like I said I think I showed it to my grandmother once like a year ago and she kept the little sample bottle and then went and bought the full size for my birthday. This is a darker more muskier scent but it still has those floral tones to it which is I think why I like I just really like floral tones if you couldn't tell most of these are florals. But this smells amazing. I don't think I ever would have bought this for myself because, again, I'm a little stingy when it comes to buying perfumes. Um, but this smells amazing. And again, I am kind of babying that bottle. Before we get into the dossier, I just wanted to show you guys real quick how I keep my little samples. I love perfume samples so much. There's nothing better to me than getting to try out a nice perfume in a little bottle. Like, uh, and they're so cute. I love these. So I keep this in my bathroom and it's literally just like a little espresso cup with a bunch of my perfume samples. My favorite ones recently have been, it's the, uh, Juliet has a gun. That's one I actually really want to get at some point if I can justify the splurge or find it on dossier. Where did you go? God, I know it's in here. I literally just used it. So now that I found that, my two favorites in samples that I've been using recently is the Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. This is one of the most unique perfumes that I've smelled, um, but again, it's it's really expensive. So I've, I'm in that phase where I've gotten like four of these little samples of it so far. Who knows, maybe in the next year, if I really still like it, I might get myself a bottle. The other one that kind of came out of nowhere and surprised me was from Replica, this little mini. And this is the, what scent are you? This is the bubble bath scent. 
but it just smells so it smells like clean hotel room which is, i mean that sounds weird right but i loved just it smells clean it smells fresh it smells organized that's that sounds very weird but it smells organized if if you just just go with me here on this thought experiment it smells like an organized house <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'm just a little nuts, but uh, I really like that one too. And that's why I love these little samples because you can just try a bunch of them. And then eventually if you find one that you like enough to get eight samples of, you get the bottle. Last but not least, let's go through the Dossier perfume. So the first one that I've got, let me see if I have the right box. Nope, not that one. So the first one that I got was their perfume in floral aldehyde. So this is the box. You'll see it's very cute. I love the um, colors and everything. You get a full size bottle and then they give you the little sample thing here. And the point of the sample is if you order perfumes online, which has been a big like question that I had about buying perfumes online, especially when it comes to like celebrity brands. Like I know like Kim K has a perfume line, some other ones do where you're supposed to buy at first they were only online only so how are you supposed to smell the perfume and like they don't do any returns what the hell so what dossier does is they send you whenever you buy the perfume you have the perfume and then they give you a full size and this is a big sample let me compare this sample to your typical like fragrance samples like this is a regular fragrance sample and this is the dossier one it's it's huge so it is a good amount of product in order to figure out whether or not you like the scent so what you're supposed to do, kind of like if you get hair extensions, um, you try out the sample. So you try this out first. If you don't like it, you can not open this and then return it and you get a refund. Um, but if you do like it, then you can open up and use your perfume and then everything's fine. This is the first company I've seen that does this with perfumes. And um, I was shocked at how common sense that sounded and it's awesome. Um, so this is the floral aldehyde scent. This is a dupe for Chanel number no. five. And I've been wearing this for the past week. I actually just finished up the little sample and I used the full size bottle for the first time yesterday. It smells amazing. So this is a big bottle. Let me see how many, does it say how many ounces it is? It is 1.7 ounces. So th this thing is huge. I love the packaging. It's very simple. It's very, uh, not utilitarian, but clean. And it smells just like the Chanel number no. five samples that I would get. <laughs> but now I can actually have a full size bottle of it because this is only $29. Yeah. So I've been wearing this for a little bit over a week now, almost every day, and I have been loving it. <laughs> loving it so much. Alvin loves it. He actually commented on my perfume for the first time and he said it smelled really good. And I was like, wow, he can barely smell anything. And he liked it. So I really, really love this one. But the real test comes when I want to compare a dossier perfume to the actual real perfume. And I have one to test for you here. So the other dossier perfume that I was sent was spicy orchid so this is the spicy orchid i've only used it a couple of times because i really wanted to for the first time here try it side by side with the perfume that it is duping and that is the tom ford perfume in my collection <laughs> this is the dossier spicy orchid and this is supposed to be the tom ford black orchid oh that's a cute thumbnail so what I want to do is try these both side by side on camera, just get my initial first thoughts because I haven't tried these side by side yet. I've tried this by itself and I've of course used this by itself. And then I'm going to film and do a full day wear test for you guys using both of these side by side. Okay, so I'm going to try my first impression of these side by side. I made my own little like fragrance testers to hopefully keep this, I don't know, as scientific as possible. Um, so I'm first just going to smell them both from the actual bottle and I'll drop it but we don't drop it so okay I've got I've got the Tom Ford scent let's my god that smells exactly the same shit if I was blindfolded I would not be able to tell the difference between these but okay let's give it an actual spritz so I'm going to take the dossier and spritz it right there and then I'm going to take the Tom Ford and spritz it there okay let's let these aerate it smells delightful in here now <laughs> okay okay I got the Tom Ford and then yeah they smell the same wow okay I literally can't tell the difference, which is insane. Wow, especially because this Tom Ford one is over $100. 
and this one this one's a little bit more than the other dossier i believe this one is 39 dollars, but compared to 100 holy shit okay so on my first impressions they smell the same they spray the same but let's put it to a full day wear test so let's go ahead and jump into a full day wear test of these battling it out okay so i'm about to start working let's go ahead and start the full day wear test it is 9 14 a.m and i'm filming this on monday the first and what i'm going to do is wear both of these side by side so i think i'm going to wear the dossier on my left hand side so i'm going to do one spritz on the wrist one behind the neck where i would normally put a perfume and i'm going to put the tom ford on the right side then i'm going to see just how long they last if they smell the same throughout a full day until at least 5 p.m so I do work from home eventually. Um, I do want to do a test once. I, I only, honestly, because we're still in a pandemic, I leave the house only once a week just to go grocery shopping and stuff. So the next time we do that, I'll also wear either this dossier perfume or the other one to see how it lasts through a day of actually like going out and doing stuff. But I really just want to do this as a side by side test. And I'm thinking this is like a controlled test because I'm not really going to be doing too much like activity other than working at my desk all day because I really want to see how both perfumes perform. So we've got the dossier. I'm going to do one spritz there, one spritz on the wrist, and I have to prevent myself from doing the wrist thing because we're not going to cross contaminate. Just let it dry like this. <laughs> Okay, use the hair a little bit. Now we're going to do the Tom Ford on the right side. So one spritz right behind the ear. And then one on the wrist. Again, let it spray, let it dry. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for this Tom Ford one to dry. Give me a minute. Okay, so both sides are dry. Smelling good. Smelling good. So I'm going to do some check-ins throughout the day just to see how long they both last and if they still smell the same throughout the day. Also, let's just take a moment. I look really cute today. I'm feeling it. I think I look really adorable. On my eyes, I've got a combination of the Lila palette and the um, ABH Norvina palette. It looks really pretty. Anyway. <laughs> okay, guys, so it's a few hours later. It's just before 12, so it's 11.58. And I'm actually kind of surprised by how they're going so far. So the sprays on the neck, the way that I test them, I literally just like swoosh my hair around. They smell the same, like up here, um, both left and right, Dossier and Tom Ford. Now on the wrist, so I didn't spray it right here at the very beginning of my wrist because I have a keyboard and I have a, a mouse pad and I rest right here on the wrist. So I sprayed the Dossier right down here and I sprayed the Tom Ford down here. The Tom Ford is actually really faint, surprisingly. Whereas I can still smell very clearly the Dossier one. I have to say I'm really surprised. I kind of thought it would be like the other way and I thought I would have to respray the dossier one throughout the day. But so far, like the dossier one, at least on the wrists slash arms, it's holding up a lot better. Wow. I can still smell the Tom Ford one, but it's definitely more faint than the dossier side. Surprising. So um, I'm not gonna respray. I thought about doing a respray here about halfway through my work day. But I kind of just want to give it a full day test and see how they both perform with just the one spray at the beginning of the day. So that is the lunchtime check-in. I'll probably check in closer to four or five o'clock towards the end of my work day for the final check-in. Okay, so it is the end of the work day. It is 5.04 p.m. Um, it looks like most of the scent is gone from the wrists. Yeah, I can't smell anything on the Tom Ford side. And I can only smell a little something on the dossier side. So the, the wrist, they're both gone by 5 p.m. So I could still smell it at lunchtime. I think it was right around probably like the three o'clock mark. So I put this on at, oh, watch me do math and struggle. Nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three. Okay, so six hours. So after six hours of wear on the wrists, uh, the scent for both of them was just about dissipated. The way I can check in what I normally do is like rub my hair against here and then smell to check back here. So let's see. I smell a little bit on the Tom Ford side. And not too much on the dossier side. So it seems like the dossier lasted better on the wrist than back here on the back of my neck. And the Tom Ford lasted better on the back of the neck as opposed to the wrist. But overall, I was so impressed by the dossier Wow, and the fact that I really outperformed the Tom Ford, I was not expecting that. 
at all. We have a guest, a very chunky guest. <gasps> He's blessing us with his attention. Love you, love you. So my original plan was not to refresh these fragrances, um, but plans have changed. We're actually about to go have dinner with my boyfriend's parents. It's his dad's birthday today. They're within our pandemic. Are people still doing pandemic huddles where it's just immediate family? I don't know. He works with them every day, so they're part of our pandemic circle. Um, so we're just gonna go have dinner at their house. It's just gonna be the four of us. And I'm gonna do my hair because I got a little bit frizzy here, but I was gonna respray both perfumes. But now that I know how good the dossier is, I think I'm just gonna use the dossier for tonight. So that's the full day wear test. What I'm gonna do is while I'm editing this video, cause I do film and edit my video, I pre-film my videos fairly far in advance, at least a week or two ahead of when they actually go up. So I'm gonna edit this right before it goes up and put in my final thoughts here about the dossier perfumes because by the time the video goes up, I'll have had them for between two and three weeks and able to give a full bodied rounded review. Hello guys, I'm sorry if you can hear chainsaws outside, but I have to film this now because I'm filming this uh, the 11th, so this is literally the day before this video is going to be going up. I've had both of these dossier perfumes for just about three weeks now, and I wanted to give you my review after that time. I typically like to keep makeup products for at least three weeks before I post a review. If you follow me on Influencer, I do post reviews of mainly empties is when I really like to post a review. Otherwise, I like to keep a product for at least three weeks, thoroughly test it, and then post my review. So for these two perfumes, for the Spicy Orchid, I have to say it is a really good dupe for the Tom Ford to the point where I do not think I'm going to ask for the Tom Ford or purchase the Tom Ford again because this one is really good and it is um, basically twice as big as the actual perfume. So I think this is going to last me a lot longer than that other bottle. I personally have gotten a lot more use out of the floral aldehydes because for me this is kind of like a good everyday perfume whereas the spicy orchid just because it's a little bit deeper muskier it's more of like a um like a date night kind of perfume like a night on the town which haven't been happening because of covid but um it's more of a like special occasion kind of perfume not something i would consistently wear every day so i have been getting a lot more use out of the floral aldehyde one and i do love it it's fantastic it's become my new go-to i usually use this along with the japanese cherry blossom spray from bath and body works so i've really been enjoying the perfumes i was going to place it on the dossier order or actually place a dossier order to purchase a couple more because i'm just really curious now and i love how affordable it is but a couple of the products that i wanted are currently sold out so i don't know if i'm just going to place two orders you know eventually or wait for those to come back in stock before i place an order so there we have it. That is my full perfume collection along with my little mini review for Dossier. I do have to say this is not sponsored, but this is the first time I've gotten PR where I've immediately wanted to go ahead and buy more of the product. So I am most likely in the next week or so going to be placing an order to pick up some other perfumes because I feel like now I can actually like, ha like afford a perfume collection. <laughs> Which, I mean, not to sound silly, but I, I love fragrance. Like I said, fragrance has been a big part of my life ever since lockdown. And I'm just, I was so excited when I was looking through the Dossier website. My only thing, Dossier, if you're watching this, I'm, I hope you're watching this. Um, do some Burberry dupes, please. Get me the My Burberry blush. That would be amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you ever heard of Dossier or if you want to try them out. And what your favorite perfume is. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.